Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a go at turning day into night. A really easy way to do this is we go to here and take the adjustments and create curves. Let's bring that one up here. And the trick now is to go to the blend mode and turn that to color burn. And then pull this pretty much down. You know, that's quite quite a long way as long as you're just trying to keep a gentle curve all the way around and then what we can do because that's not quite enough we'll click on the curves layer here and then hit ctrl j to duplicate that layer now we've got a doubling of effect now it's far more significant so but we'd like to bring a bit of this back here so we're going to paint on this layer in black so we've got black up here let's select the paintbrush over here we want to so the Opacity, yeah, that's around about 10%. That's okay. You might even move that up a bit. So maybe let's go down to around 20%. And we're going to paint a bit at a time, carefully back on here. See where that is bringing this back, because we're effectively saying, don't do that second curves thing, please. So we're getting more detail. We can go up and down the trees as well. Bring uh, just a little bit of colour back in all this as well. Yeah, we're bringing a little bit of the a little bit of green in there. So we're just getting a little bit more detail. Go to the house here, paint in there. So we just get bits of detail back where it's wrote, just where it's black, and just getting a little bit more of the house. This sort of thing. You can take a little bit more time, a bit more care, but there's that's the sort of things to do. Now we want to address the sky up here. There's bits around the edge we haven't haven't quite got rid of. So let's go. Click on the background layer and then hit add pixel layer, which comes in above here, and then we're going to get a colour that fits in here. So to do that, we'll just get the, the thing up here, we'll drag it over to where we get a nice typical blue. So that appears up here, then we click on the eyedropper here and it puts it into the foreground colour. Now our brush is that blue. So we're going to paint on the pixel layer in that blue. Yeah, and it's like, oh, maybe we could increase the opacity a bit. So you know, a fairly good effect on that. It's bringing it up to around about 60%. And we can paint on here. And make it blend a little bit better. Um, because you can see the blue is actually appearing in this. We do a multiply. So we'll go to the blend mode here. Go down to multiply. You go and you see the blue appears less in the actual trees itself there. It's just looking for the darkening effects. And see, you can paint those little colours in the tree where it's gone a little bit on the edge. There we go, that's lightning effects. We get the lightning going right to the darkening to the edge. We'll decrease the size of the brush with the left square bracket. And let's paint over this bit here just to make that dark. And there we go. Nice and quick. Day into night. That was interesting and I uh, hope you liked that one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.